we want to find the antiderivative or evaluate the indefinite integral. Let's begin by factoring out this four and write this as four times the integral of x to the fourth sine squared x to the fifth. Notice how we have x to the fourth here and x to the fifth here. So we'll perform u substitution and let u be equal to x to the fifth and therefore differential u equals five x to the fourth dx. And since we have x to the fourth dx, let's divide both sides by five. Therefore, one fifth du equals x to the fourth dx. So writing in terms of u, we'd have four times the integral of well, x to the fourth dx equals one fifth du. So let's factor out the one fifth. And then we have differential u. And then x to the fifth is equal to u. So we have the integral of sine squared u. So we've made some progress, but we don't have an integration formula for sine squared u. So we'll have to apply a power reducing formula given here, where if we have sine squared u, that's equal to one half times the quantity, one minus cosine two u. So here we have four fifths times the integral of, performing this substitution, we'll have another factor of one half. We'll have the integral of the quantity one minus cosine two u. And now we'll find the antiderivative with respect to u. Notice here we have four tenths or two fifths. The antiderivative of one with respect to u would just be u. Now you need to be careful here. When we integrate cosine two u, we would have a u substitution. Let's call it a v substitution, where v would be equal to two u, and therefore dv would be equal to two du. So if we divide both sides by two, notice how du equals one half dv which means we'll have an extra factor of one half when finding the antiderivative. So we have minus the antiderivative of one half cosine v, which would be one half sine v. But of course, v is equal to two u, and then we have plus c. So the last step, we'll substitute x to the fifth for u. So we'll have two fifths x to the fifth for this product, and then for this product, we'd have minus two tenths or one fifth sine two x to the fifth, and of course plus c. This would be our antiderivative. I hope you found this helpful.